If you're looking to repair your window system using command prompt, here are four specialized CMD commands to fix specific issues on your Windows computer. Search CMD in the search bar and run command prompt as an administrator. Driver Verifier Manager, type Verifier. This command launches the Driver Verifier Manager tool, which helps in identifying and troubleshooting issues caused by faulty drivers. In the Driver Verifier Manager window, you'll see several verification options. Select the task you prefer and click Next. Select Drivers to verify. After selecting the verification options, you'll need to choose which drivers you want to verify. You can either select automatically select unsigned drivers to verify all unsigned drivers or you can manually select specific drivers. Click next to proceed with the final step of the process. If you choose the option to select driver names, then you would have to select the driver names you would want to troubleshoot. Once you've chosen the verification options and selected the drivers, click on the Finish button to enable Driver Verifier. Restart your computer. After enabling Driver Verifier, you'll need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. Device drivers are essential for the proper functioning of hardware components in a computer. However, faulty or incompatible drivers can cause system crashes, blue screen of death, errors, and other stability issues. Driver Verifier can help pinpoint the problematic drivers responsible for these crashes. Windows Memory Diagnostic Type MDSCHED This command launches the Windows Memory Diagnostic tool, which checks your computer's memory for errors. In the Windows Memory Diagnostic window, you'll see two options, Restart Now and Check for Problems, and Check for Problems the next time I start my computer. Select the option that best suits your preference. The Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool is designed to diagnose memory-related issues on your computer. It specifically focuses on identifying problems with your computer's RAM, random access memory, which can manifest in various forms of system instability, errors, and performance degradation. Windows Resource Protection, type USA slash uninstall slash KB123456. Replace 123456 with the actual KB number of the update you want to uninstall. Click on the Start button. Click on Settings. Select Update and Security. Select Windows Update at the tab on your left. Then click View Update History. Identify the update you want to delete. Type the KB number you have chosen into the command. Make sure to enter the KB number correctly. This command allows you to manage Windows updates and patches. You can use it to install or uninstall updates manually. Sometimes, Windows updates can cause issues such as system crashes, performance degradation, or compatibility issues with certain hardware or software configurations. Using the WUSA command to uninstall a problematic update allows you to revert your system to a stable state prior to the installation of that update. System Restore, typerstrui.exe. This command launches the System Restore tool, which allows you to revert your system to a previous state, a restore point, where it was functioning correctly. You will be provided the option to undo the current restore point or choose a different restore point. Click Next to proceed to the next step. In the System Restore window, you'll see a list of available restore points, if any. These are points in time where Windows created backups of your system files and settings. Select a restore point that predates the time when you started experiencing issues on your computer. Click Next to proceed to the next step. Start the restore process. Confirm your restore point and click Finish to complete the process. Once started, System Restore cannot be interrupted. Sometimes, conflicts between software applications or drivers can lead to instability or errors on your system. System Restore can roll back changes made by newly installed software, updates, or drivers, potentially resolving compatibility issues and restoring system stability.